Hey everybody, today we are starting a new game and it is called Chrono Cross. Now you might be wondering, why are you playing such an old game? Because, I mean, clearly it's old. I think it was made in like 1999. So I'll explain that a little bit, but first, let's kind of go ahead and watch the beginning part. Uh, this kind of little video, you'll kind of see some of the characters that we're going to be uh, playing with, a little bit of the story. Um, but basically, this is my favorite game of all time. I don't know if you've looked in the description of all my videos, but uh, one of the questions is, what is your favorite game? This is it, Chrono Cross, uh, an RPG made for the PS1. And basically for the past three years on YouTube, <clears throat> I've wanted to play this game. I just never did. Uh, but now I've finally gone ahead, downloaded an emulator, it's on my computer, and yeah. This is going to be a series. I'm 100% finishing the entire game throughout. This is not one of those series that I'm going to quit on. It's my favorite game of all time. I'm going to finish it. And who knows, this might even be maybe the last uh, series on my channel ever. Basically, this series will take us up until summer, then I go to college. So who knows, my favorite game of all time might be my last. But, let's go ahead, watch this trailer and then we'll start playing the game itself and you can hear in the background this music is fantastic I still listen to the soundtrack like by myself sometimes like it's a good soundtrack now the one thing is the quality seems a bit weird I think there is a way to have better quality but I'm not a genius with emulators so I'm not particularly sure it's fine though. Either way, this game doesn't look great. So, mainly what I'm showing you guys is right now the music, the feel. The old PS1 RPG 2000 days, if you know what I mean. And then, yeah, after this little cutscene, we're gonna get started. And, uh, this is gonna be one of those series where if you're not interested in it, don't watch. Um, yeah, it's the least I can say. It's not a new game, it's basically. 18 years old. I'm 18, this game is 18 years old. It's perfect. Chrono Cross. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I have to press one of these buttons, I think. Yeah, one of those buttons. Uh, my setup's a little wonky, like I said, I'm not a master with emulators. Let's go ahead and start a new game, Vibration. Yes, let us get that Vibration on. What are we going to name ourselves? You know what I'm going to do? <clears throat> I would change my name to Aqua, but you know what? The character is Surge. I'm going to leave it as Surge. All names are going to be default. I'm not going to change it to Aqua because, well, it's not me. It's not the way I see it. So, yeah. And one thing that you're going to notice is we're going to have three characters right in the beginning. We're going to have Surge and we're going to have two other characters. Those two, so this game is really weird in its storytelling. Basically, right now, we're starting out in the middle of the game. Once we get a little section done of the middle of the game, we go back to the beginning, and then we start from the beginning, and we'll come back here later in the game. But basically right now, you're not gonna know these characters. They just give you Kid, which is the girl in the red, and then they give you a random character. But we will meet these characters throughout the game. And another thing, you could tell how old this game is because there's the text, but they don't actually have a voice. They don't have voice lines for any of them. Maybe a couple grunts and stuff, but yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to read the text. I think I will. But yeah, kinda let's, let's just get going. There it is. There's no turning back now. Oi. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to read it because some of these things, people have accents. I take it back. I'm not reading it. Uh, but I'll try to go decently slow for those of you that actually do want to read But the one thing is I am a fairly fast reader so Hopefully you guys can keep up, but the dialogue isn't uber important basically any of the big plot points I'm gonna show you guys anyway Okay, so that's that Okay, that is running so over here, uh, we actually can't do anything over here. This is just a balcony. And this will be a full playthrough. So I'm going to try to get every chest that I can. Any, like, 
um, cutscenes that I can. I'm gonna try to get gather all the characters. Obviously, I'm not the completionist. I'm not gonna do a 100% playthrough, but I will try my best to get near 100. So, how combat works in this game is it's if you guys ever played Chrono Trigger, uh, this is Chrono Cross. This is its sequel. Uh, but it's just like that, so you don't meet random encounters, you actually meet encounters on the map. So if I run into that, I will fight it. And I usually don't fight, but for this one time, I will show you guys how to defeat this. I can just kind of run past it, but again, just to show you the mechanics. And it is a little bit from Chrono Trigger, because you do go in an arena type style. So basically, at the bottom, you can see HP and stamina. Um, so you can defend, run away, element, or attack. And element is basically magic, which we don't have yet, but we will get later. So with attack, you can choose someone to attack, and you have three ways to attack. One, two, three. And then each of them has a bigger chance to so 59%, 79%, 92%. And then the lower the chances, the stronger the attack. So let's just do one of these. It hits, 29. We hit the two, it's only 18. So you can kind of tell the damage is kind of like a risk reward type thing. And this is Kid. I think overall my favorite character in the game. And see now she only has one stamina. Basically there's no point to attack so I'm going to go ahead and defend. And then Razzy, she's obviously a character that we get later on. She's basically going to disappear after this cutscene. But she's supposed to be a healer type mage. So she's not really supposed to be attacking but oh well. Okay we can go to elements. So these are basically special attacks and magic, like I said earlier, and then each of these is kind of on a level, but we'll, we'll go through that more later. For now, we'll use Meteor Shower. But yeah, uh, this is a classic RPG, guys. Turn-based RPG. Bam, bam. That should kill it. There we go. So yep, that is how combat works. And actually, Kid, like I said, uh, my favorite character in this game for sure maybe not in the entire like video game universe but just to even prove that she oh oh no i need to get away from that bat just to prove that she really is my favorite she's actually the background oh oh no okay never mind you know what i won't show you guys and actually i'm actually misspoken the background on my phone is annie from league of legends but the background on my computer which I'm not going to show you because I have to mess up the recording, is actually Kid. Let's go ahead and run away from that bat. Because, basically, nothing that I do right now actually matters. So I might as well just kind of get through it. And, uh, you guys gotta remember, it, this game is the sequel to Chrono Trigger, uh, infamously for its very, very complicated storyline. So if you guys don't understand the storyline, you can leave a comment below and I can try to answer your question, or you can easily just kind of Google it, uh, go to the Wikipedia page or something. But that being said, the story is very, 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 very complicated. The good thing about this game is it was made in a way where it's not directly tied to Chrono Trigger in a sense. You could get the full picture of the story without Chrono Trigger. You don't actually have to play Chrono Trigger to be able to understand this story. It, it's helpful, but you don't have to. And like I said, all of this that I'm doing right now, you're not actually really supposed to understand, in a sense, but that's kind of just how games worked back then, I guess. But yeah, we kind of get warped up, and we're going to have a little cutscene here in a second, and then we will be teleported back to the beginning, or to the beginning of the game, where we will start our adventure. And another thing is, this is going to be one of those games where I kind of mass record. So I'm just going to sit here for like 5-6 hours and record it. And I'm not going to be feeling, uh, you know, I don't know. Because the whole intro-outro thing is going to be kind of annoying. Who knows? Okay. But, uh, I was about to say, maybe I'm not going to do it. I'll just kind of like, to be continued and then go on to the next episode. But you know what, I might actually do it. I'll just have to kind of take a look at the timer, so especially on my phone. So right now it's 3.51, so at f around 4.20, <laughs> uh, we have to stop. But yeah. And 
I've been talking constantly. I'm not going to be doing this entire time. Most of the time, I'm probably not going to be talking. So, just putting that out there. So, you might not understand any of that. Of course, I understand it. I know exactly what's going on there, but I'm not going to spoil the game this early on. That'd be quite stupid of me. So I'm going to leave that a complete mystery until we get to that part, obviously. Because if I told you what happened right there, obviously you would like huge spoilers later on. But we have the cliche beginning. The little boy has a dream. or It wasn't a dream, but you know. And he wakes up in his bed in his town. Seems like every game kind of starts like this. Every Pokemon game, every Zelda game, every Final Fantasy game. But man, this music is so good. You guys, it's probably just nostalgia on my part. But man, I do love this music. But yeah, you could kind of tell. Graphics aren't the best, but you know what? This isn't my favorite game because of the graphics, so. Finally up, uh, did you have plans to meet with Lena? Lena came to see if you were up, but you, young man, were still never, you shouldn't break promises like that. Girls can be pretty scary if you make them angry, true. Uh, yeah, Lena is basically, like, supposed to be, like, kind of like future wife type girl. So, I'm not gonna go through this entire town, but basically, over there, some village elders with a couple animals running around, really nothing to do there. A bunch of these houses are enterable, they're just kind of people with a bunch of cutscenes. Uh, this lady right here is basically the first place where you can buy stuff. So you can buy elements and armor from the vendors in this game. I'm not going to need any weapons or armor because I don't really have enough money, but I will buy some elements if I have some money. I do have 100G. Uh, let's buy... Um, this is not a consumable. Ugh. Okay, let's just buy a fireball, and let's buy an aqua beam, there we go, and let's go to the main menu, so the main menu looks we could save, load, customize our items, which are like story game items, equips, so these are, our, uh, this is like obviously like our armor weapons, uh, status, and elements, and we can allocate our kind of things here, so right now we have a tablet, cure, and let's go ahead and put fireball on here. Uh, cure. Let's go ahead and put Aqua Beam on that one. And let's go ahead towards Lena, which is on the beach. Or port thingy. Gotta go talk to her. That's not supposed to happen. Alright, everybody. I did that entire thing over again. Now we're back. So, we were supposed to get Komodo skills from El Paso Beach, uh, but I was a sleepyhead, slept in, uh, so now we're gonna have to go get them by ourselves, but that's fine. And then, unbeknownst to us, that person to the bottom left will carry us on our boat at some point in the game. Or him, her, I don't know. Looks like she... I don't even know if that's a girl or a boy. Yeah, but we must get that Komodo scale necklace. So, we gotta go get some scales, and then she's gonna meet us. Uh, is that okay with you, Serge? Yep. No problem. Let's go get them scales. Let us go get them scales. And uh, how we're gonna have to do that is basically there's these little Komodo dragon thingies. We have to trap them because they will run away from me. And this is the exit to the town right here. And how this game works, just like any, any other RPG, there's a like a home map type thing. So the beach is right over here, and there's a couple places we're gonna have to visit in the game. So to our left is gonna be a grave site, uh, the canyons, how we're gonna get to a lot of the map. There's a hydra marsh and. A uh, waterfall over there where, where we get the mythical Chrono Cross, but I'm not gonna get into that. Let's go ahead and save memory card one, and we're gonna overwrite 
our other save, which was a test test play. So now if the game crashes, it's at least saved. But yep, uh, I think we have to grab three. Do do, and then let's push this rock out of the way. And those big blue things, uh, they don't get what we need. But I want to get to that treasure chest. So it looks like we're gonna have to fight them. I'm not gonna fight the ones that we don't need to, but in this case, he's behind a treasure chest, so I'm gonna be happy to be fighting them. Boop, boop, boop. Let's kill Sand Squirt first. Oh, okay, good, good hit, good hit. Let's go ahead and hit him with that 55, and then let's defend. Let's go ahead and let's hit him with the two. Yeah, I was gonna say that should kill him. Friend. And we'll have seven stamina. So we should be able to two hit him. Just like that. And then of course we get items at the end. Humor, humor, and a fang. Let's see if that was worth it. Fireball. Eh, I guess it was worth it. Not really. Okay, so that's one of the Komodo dragons that we're going to have to get. So, basically, we have to move this rock to trap it. So we move that rock there. And then we make a run to there. Where are you going, buddy? By the way, when I first played this when I was a kid, this took forever because I didn't know how to do this stuff. So it might look easy, but at the time, it was pretty complicated. Uh, I guess let's kill the Komodos. There we go. I wasn't happy with the automatic 50. Because these things have good agility, I think. Let's hit it with one and then defend. Yeah. And the big dudes will pull off fire spells. See? Ah, I missed. There we go. At least it's dead. Okay, well, we didn't get to defend, but that's fine. But we should be able to kill the... Oh, okay, actually, let's just defend. He's gonna hit us again, but not for much. Let's attack him. Bam. Oh, I missed! There we go. Maybe that... Okay, I was gonna say, maybe that'll kill him. It did. That's pretty good. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ba -ba -ba -bum. All right, we got two more HP. Let's do it. So, that is a Komodo scale. We have to go get two more. Let's do this. And yeah, it might sound like I'm kind of rushing through the game. Well, I know the beginning of this game very well. So, I'm going to be rushing through the beginning because I know it. Once we get to later parts of the game, I'm not going to know the game as well. I don't know what to do. I can't, I'm pretty sure. Do I have to just like chase this one down? I'm pretty sure I just chase. Yeah, this one I just chased down. I don't think we actually trapped that one. Apparently, this was a slow Komodo. Let's go ahead and try to go for that 50. Bam. Nice. Maybe we can insta-kill this one, too. Bam. All right. I like it. Didn't even give him a turn to attack. We just slice and dice him. Ba -ba -ba -bum. And I actually... I, pro I did this in the wrong order. I probably shouldn't have came this way because... The beach is over to our left, Oop. and there's a Komodo over here in this piece of land. So I probably should have done it that one and then this one, but it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, this one is blocking a chest, right? Yeah, this one's blocking a chest. I want to get that chest. I know there's probably not even good stuff in it, but you know what? Now let's go ahead and kill big guy first. Oh! Kill him. There we go. That doesn't really do anything for me, but hey, he's dead at least. Let's just defend. Can't do no damage to me. Let's hit him with the three. Wham. Let's go ahead and defend up. Right, let's hit him with that three. Bam. And the statistics say 55%, but uh, I don't believe it. 
I think they're very, very generous about it. Because 55%, I hit them like 90% of the times, so. Okay, how am I supposed to push this? Hello? Oh. What is this rock? There we go. Okay, how long will it take to get to the surface? This is gonna... Okay, I was like, this thing's gonna float forever. Silver... Oh, hold on. What is that? Oh, I think that's an accessory. Improves hit percent. I'll take it. Okay, that was actually worth getting then. Because that gives me... Uh, item. So basically, we have to jump on top of this thing. Yeah. So let's get up here. Oh, no! Okay, I want to not fight that thing. Can we? No! Okay, I guess we're fighting it. Whatever. Whatever. Or we could just run away, I'm pretty sure. But you know what? I need the experience anyway. That's how RPG games are. Hit him. Bah. I'm gonna need the experience anyway. Because, of course, there's a boss coming up, so. I'll beat it, obviously, no matter what. But. Let's get a, let's get a fireball going, you know what I mean? And spells are pretty strong. And since it's this game has the kind of like method of certain things being strong against other things, kind of like Pokemon. I don't know if water sh or fire is fire strong against water in this game. That'd be kind of wonky, but maybe that's a thing. I have no idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I do a whoop. What? Dodge twice? What kind of garbage is this? What kind of garbage is this? Don't dodge. Alright, everybody. So, I have played my way through all the way around. Gotten the two Komodo scales, gathered everything back up. And we, right now, we're in the midst of fighting right where we left off right here. So let's keep going. Hopefully the game doesn't crash like that very often. If it does, I'm going to have to deal with it. Um, that's the thing. When I downloaded this emulator, it came with the risk. Okay. It came with the risk of crashing. And I've heard it crashes often. So, um, I expected this. Jump. No! Okay, we gotta remember, it jumps, like, right at this corner over here. We're gonna have to remember that. When we come back around. It jumps, like, right at that line. I was hoping we wouldn't have to, like, defeat all of these again. That would suck. Okay, so... Okay. Bam! What?! That was bull crap. I landed on that thing. I don't want to hit none of that. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. At least the music is good. How can I get mad when music is this good? Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna jump on you. Bam! Right on him. Right him. Hit him with that three. Let's not give him any time. Hit him with that three. Okay. I could hit him with an element, but I'm not going to for a certain reason you're about to see. Boss. Fireball. Ba, 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 ba. I only seven damage. I thought I'd be way more than that. 
Twenty percent. Oh, wow. That's too fun. Bam! Straight. Ooh! Oh, some damage. Aw, oh, come on. Don't hit me with that. That was really bad. I missed a lot of shots. That was bad. That was bad. Wow. Okay, I was like, that does Is that, that damage? Okay, we... We have to stop doing that. Like, we really have to stop doing that. Okay, fine. I'll just go with these safe ones. Oh, he's dead. Okay. And guys, I have... I'm starting to realize more and more that these graphics are worse than they're supposed to be. Because even like the things on screen, they kind of seem a bit blurry. Okay, let's go meet up with Lena at the beach. I think that's all the scales. We could go down there, but uh, I don't know if I'm feeling that. I don't know if I'm feeling that. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to go save because I'm scared the game's going to crash. And we can save right here. So we're going to go ahead. Save. Yes, please. Save that mem- save that progress. If I lose that progress, I will cry. Opasa Beach. Now, this is truly where the story begins. There you are. Yeah, I'm right here. How you doing? Sorry I'm late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. And a lot of Let's Players do funny accents and voices. I'm not one of them. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the Komodo Dragon Scales or whatever that said? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll be able to make a great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. It sure has been a long time since we came here. We used to come all the time. Yeah, actually, the background of my PC is a photo of this exact ocean. The seed never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this since long before we were born. It's been here for eternity, it seems. It's probably seen many things, heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime without a single change. Hey, Serge. Remember we used to sit and talk like this when we were kids? the gentle sea breeze and the tranquil sound of the waves just the two of us talking you still remember that day yes i do remember i don't really you do nope uh so serge you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day hee <laughs> hee that makes me happy oh that's good but aren't memories strange just when you think that you've forgotten about something it comes floating back into your heart i guess it's just lying there and wait waiting for the right moment why, we might even remember this very moment someday, in 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married, and have kids of our own. And then one day, the time comes, and wonder what kind of adults we'll be, what kind of life we'll be leading. I wonder what to make of this day. We'll never forget this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge, there's been something I've been waiting to... Bum, bum, bum. Serge... What? What's wrong, Serge? Serge, the ocean is coming, my dudes. The ocean is coming.
Okay, well, I'm definitely going to figure out what's the crash, like what's going on with that. I don't know if I'll be able to fix it, but I need to find a way around it because that's going to be a big issue. I've recorded one half an hour episode and I've crashed four times. That's not appreciated. Especially when we get deeper in the story, I'm not going to have as many chances to save. So, uh, after this episode, I'm actually going to be taking a little break. Maybe trying to figure out what's going on. But it's fine. For now, it's fine. So, we woke up on a beach, huh? Where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I best be on way. If you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know you shouldn't be playing out here, boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. So, I know what just happened. You don't know what just happened. And I'm not going to tell you because, once again, spoilers, spoilers. It's so hard. When you actually know what's going on, like, to me, it's, like, really obvious what just happened. But, like, obviously, first time people watching this, they don't know very well what just happened. But, um, boom, boom, new animals. Let's just jump, jump down this hole real quick. Do, 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 do. Let's go get this chest. Found a feather. What's over here? That's the real question. No. Um. Is there anything over here? I don't even. I don't even think so. All right. Let's go back. Back down the hole. And uh, let's try not to fight these things for now, unless we have to. Yeah, I guess we'll just go down through here. Boom, 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 boom. I want to get that chest. No, I hit it. All right, well, we should probably fight one of these things just to kind of look at the animations and such. Dun, dun, dun. Don't dodge. Okay. Dang it, it lived. Alright, it seems like both will want to take bites out of me. Oh, okay, I'm not even in good condition. Why do both of them want to take bites out of me? Alright, let's go to this one. Hit! Dude! So annoying. So we'll defend. You must die. Bam. Don't let him attack. Hit him without one piece. Alright. Get that stuff out of the way. We'll get this chest. Find another bone. Oh. I guess... I'm so used to them running away from me. That was weird, it just actually standing there. Oh, we got some more enemies. Don't dodge! Haha! -ha. Don't dodge! Aha! And just to make this quick, because I won't kill a thing with a single strike, we will kill it with one fireball. So, get that out of the way. I'm sure at some point I'll stop singing along. Once I get further into the game and hear it a couple million times, I'll probably start being more annoyed than... Yeah. Whatever I was about to say. I want to get that chest too, so... Let's hope the game doesn't crash while we're in the middle of this. Wow. They get priority? What kind of garbage is this? Yeah, see, one of the things you can kind of see is at the top left, um, you can see that little, like, really faded out circle. That's this field, field effect. Basically, I think the more color of an element it is, like, the stronger the element is or something, or kind of what's been used recently. So, that is supposed to be, like, pretty solid and clear so you could see it, but in the game itself, it you could barely read field effect. So I don't know why that looks so crusty, but I'll definitely have to play with this ivory helmet. Let's go over here. 
place that boy on top of our little brain. Let's get out here. And we're actually going to end off the episode right here. So next episode, we'll go talk to Lena. And we'll continue the game. But for now, I will end here because the crashing is causing me a bit of trouble. So I'll have to figure all that stuff out. But no problem. Best game of all time. I can handle it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as a personal channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless. And goodbye.